The book of 1 Samuel is one of the books in the Old Testament of the Bible. It is a part of the Hebrew Bible and the Christian Old Testament. The book of 1 Samuel is a historical narrative that tells the story of the transition from the period of the judges to the establishment of the monarchy in ancient Israel. It is named after its central character, Samuel, a prophet and judge of Israel. The book is rich in its portrayal of the political, religious, and social developments of the time. Here is a detailed summary and explanation of the book of 1 Samuel. 1. Samuel's Birth and Early Life, 1 Samuel 1-3 The book begins with a barren woman named Hannah who prays fervently to God for a son. She vows to dedicate her son to the Lord if he grants her request. Hannah eventually gives birth to a son, Samuel, and fulfills her vow by bringing him to the tabernacle to serve under the high priest, Eli. Samuel receives a call from God in the night, and he becomes a prophet. 2. Eli's Family and Judgment, 1 Samuel 2-4 The sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, are portrayed as corrupt and wicked priests who disrespect God's offerings and engage in immoral behavior. A battle with the Philistines leads to the capture of the Ark of the Covenant, a significant religious artifact, by the Philistines. Eli's sons are killed, and Eli himself dies upon hearing the news. 3. The Ark's Return and Samuel's Leadership, 1 Samuel 5-7 The Philistines face troubles and diseases after capturing the Ark, leading them to return it to Israel. Samuel emerges as a leader and judge in Israel, guiding the people back to God and delivering them from the Philistine threat. 4. The Demand for a King, 1 Samuel 8-12 The people of Israel request a king to lead them, following the example of neighboring nations. Samuel is displeased but seeks God's guidance. God instructs Samuel to anoint Saul, a Benjamite, as the first king of Israel. Saul is chosen primarily for his physical stature and leadership qualities. 5. Saul's Rise and Early Reign, 1 Samuel 13-15 Saul becomes king and successfully leads Israel in several battles. However, he disobeys God's command by offering sacrifices and keeping the spoils of war after a battle with the Amalekites. As a result, God rejects Saul as king. 6. David's Anointing and Saul's Jealousy, 1 Samuel 16-20 God instructs Samuel to anoint David, a shepherd, as the future king of Israel. David enters Saul's service as a musician and armor-bearer but eventually becomes a threat in Saul's eyes due to his popularity and military success. 7. David's Fugitive Years, 1 Samuel 21-31 Saul's jealousy intensifies, and he seeks to kill David, leading David to flee and live as a fugitive. During this period, David gathers a group of loyal followers known as the Mighty Men. Saul and his sons, including Jonathan, are killed in battle against the Philistines, bringing an end to Saul's reign. The Book of 1 Samuel is a rich narrative that explores themes of leadership, obedience to God, the consequences of sin, and the transition from a period of judges to a monarchy in Israel. It sets the stage for the reign of David and the continuation of Israel's history in the subsequent books of the Bible. Please tell in comment box what you learn in this video. And give a like.